before the vlog gets started, I wanted to give a quick mention to my friends over at The Drive Clothing. They offered my followers a 20% off coupon for their merch, and as a customer myself, it was an easy heck yeah. Their shirts are comfortable as can be, and very roomy. Good for the gym, the shop, anywhere you need to be awesome and look awesome while doing it. Plus, yours truly is modeling the merch. Their link and discount code are in the description. For those of you who missed my build video on the smelter, here's a quick version of what you missed. You can also click on the card above to get caught up. Learning how to make bloom steel is hard, but offerings must be made. My longtime student Andy bought a clipping from the Temple of Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire and metalworking, a worthy addition. Through the late afternoon and into the night, my students added iron ore and charcoal into the smelter. No words need spoken on from here. Stay until the end of the video to get my thoughts.
My students made the blades they wanted to make, and the few days of learning are done. Those of you who said I used simple mud and that my pile of bricks wouldn't hold, I'm sure will be pretty quiet now that you see it is of coarse clay and my smelter worked just fine. Sort of like I've been doing this for almost 20 years and I know what I'm talking about. Strange. Bloom steel is special to me, and I won't just teach it to anyone who has money. Knowing this brings you into a smaller circle, the master's wheel where the power of your ancestors is in the middle and you are working closer and closer to getting their knowledge to marry with your own. The smelter is a genesis chamber. It transmogrifies the elements. You are playing with the tools of the gods. It is said by the Greeks that fire was stolen from the Olympic gods by the titan Prometheus and given to man. Therefore, it is the tool of the gods. We can only do so much of it, but much like Hercules was more than a man, yet less of a god, we too can do more than mortal things, even if it's only some of the time. Making steel is about the elements. These elements were made at the beginning of all things, and we are making a new compound with them. And since it's not made in the order of the great design, that means we must take responsibility for its use and purpose. The items enter as elements, iron, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. They come out changed. Though I do not have the power of the stars to forge new elements, I can forge with these elements. I have a piece of knowledge from the stars, and that means having something in common with those celestial furnaces, burning in defiance of the dark across space and time, sending their light rebellious into the obsidian distance, letting me know I am not alone, and neither are you.